Hey everybody, in this short video, I'm going to cover React's use effect hook. This hook allows you to execute functions at different stages of the component lifecycle. Let's take a look at an example. Right here in the editor, you can see that I'm using the use effect hook. Let's take a look at it in detail. The first console log that you can see over here is executed whenever the component mounts. It is also possible to execute code specifically when the component unmounts. And if you want to do that, you have to write code into the return statement. And in this example, it's the console log unmounted. So all that we have covered up until this point is the first argument of the use effect, and it's called the effect function. The second argument that we add into the use effect is called the dependency array. And in this case, it's an empty array. And what it does is that it specifies what values the effect function depends on. And if any of the values in the dependency array changes, the effect is rerun. We'll see that in a moment. If we take a look at this example in the browser, you can see that it says example text. And when the component was first mounted, we had this console log of mounted, which is exactly why if we look into the console, we can see that it says mounted. Now at the moment, we don't have any possibility of unmounting this component. And as a result, we won't be able to see a console log of unmounted. So let's go ahead and change that and make it possible to unmount the component. So I've gone ahead and made a couple of changes. And in the code now, you can see a child component, which is where the use effect lives. So whenever we mount or unmount this component, we will see the corresponding console log of mounted and unmounted. And below that, I have the parent component called app, which has a use state hook, which is going to be used to toggle uh, the display on and off, allowing us to mount and unmount the, the child component. So in the top right hand corner, I have my browser window. And in the bottom right corner, I have a console. In the console, you will notice that in very small writing, it says mounted. The reason for that is when the child component first mounted into the document object model, we wanted the use effect to console log mounted. And that is exactly what it's done. And that is also what we saw earlier. But in addition to what we have earlier, we can now toggle the child component by pressing this button. So when I do, you will see that the child component unmounts. And in addition to that, the use effect has now executed the second console log, which is unmounted. Now I can mount and unmount the child component a couple of times, and you will see that whenever I do that, the console logs either mounted when the component is being mounted or unmounted when it is being unmounted and disappears from the DOM. There's one final example of use effect that I want to show you that demonstrates really nicely the significance of the dependency array. In this example, you can see that I have use effect and all it does is it console logs mounted whenever the component is mounted and there is a count in the dependency array. That means not only is the console log executed when the component mounts, but also when the variable count changes. So the question is, how do we change the value of count? We change it by using useState. As you can see above, we have the variable count, which is given the default value zero, and we have a setter function called setCount. And further below in the return statement, we are rendering a button to the DOM, and it has a number that has a count of how often we click it. So what is going to happen now on the right hand side in the browser and the console is that whenever I start clicking the button, the number in the button is going to increment. And since that number is the count, which we have in the dependency array of the use effect statement, it is also going to trigger whatever we have put into the use effect, which is a console log mounted. And that is precisely the reason why you can see a console log of mounted and it keeps logging that into the console whenever I press the button. All right, so now I hope that you understand use effect.